and welcome back to Low Res TV. I'm your host, Percy Thomas, here for all your coronavirus updates and whatnot. Today we've got Dallas Goldtooth and Sterling Harjo as our correspondents and guests, and we're going to be talking to them later today about toilet paper. Now for a segment I like to call, some of y'all been acting kind of stank. Today we're going to be talking about teepee. Not the temporary domicile of the American Indian, but the kind you used to throw over your ex-girlfriend's house after you found out she was dating the captain of the wrestling team. Some of these people got 150 rolls of toilet paper per person. That's way too much. That's being greedy. You know how much grape nuts, flax, and beans you'd have to eat just to go through all that? If you had to wipe your butt that much, look at this motion right here. You'll get carpal tunnel. Hey, your butt's writing checks that your grape nuts can't cash. All right, let's kick it out to the most successful and respected indigenous movie man of our generation, Creek and Seminole filmmaker Sterling Harjo. Sterling, what you got for us? Hello, Percy. Sterling Harjo here. Um, holding it down. Oklahoma style. You didn't get into your emergency stash of gummy bears, did you? Sterling, okay, uh, we're just gonna be right back. You just stay right where you are. We're gonna go check in with Dallas. What you got for us, Dallas? Hey, Percy. Uh, Dallas here coming to you with a sweet report about how COVID-19 is affecting me and my community. And I gotta say, it's getting kind of crazy out here. People are going to some vast extremes uh, to prepare for what they deem as the worst case scenario. I mean, I just had a gentleman come up to me in my alleyway right here and said, Hey, man, I'll offer to do some sexual acts upon your person. In return, I'll give you some toilet paper. Well, Dallas, it's good that you have a strong indigenous culture with a good moral compass and are a practitioner of social distancing. He went walking that way after we talked for a bit, and I, I'm about to go talk to my neighbors and let them... Sorry to cut you off there, but I think you and your neighborhood need Jesus. Remind me to never, ever visit. Now... Let's go back to the person no one would ever accuse of ever being a prepper, Sterling Harjo. Sterling? People have asked me if I'm a prepper, and I'm not. I just had these toilet papers. Uh, they actually were too big to fit in the little toilet paper holder in the bathroom. So I just put them back here in the back room and uh, forgot about them. And then the shit hit the fan and uh you know it worked out for me so yeah just trying to hold it together sterling well you look like you're making the most out of this vacation but how's the family holding up my family is driving me crazy um i uh Right. While Sterling Harjo is learning to be a better father, I'd like to take this time to introduce some solutions and stop complaining so much. Our medical community is in short supply. They're short on masks and gloves and whatever else medical people use. And part of it is because all you people out there hoarding O paper are making it tough on the rest of us. Well, old Percy here has got a solution that can save us all. See, look, I'm practically invincible. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. Back to the drawing board. In the meantime, y'all just stay home. Old Percy needs a real mask before the corona takes him out. I think this has got fragrance on it. 